Hello! Hi! 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 How are you all doing today? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a fantastic day. We made it. We made it. We made it to 2021. We survived 2020 and here we are. Has anything changed? Not really. But we are starting a new year and hopefully that brings a new attitude. Hopefully that brings some new hope. Hopefully that brings some good things because we could all use some good things right now. Am I right? <laughs> mm, that's good. Have you ever had peanut butter coffee before? This is a peanut butter latte. I had never had one before and I thought, that sounds kind of good. Hello, stick in hair. It's like, I've never had a peanut butter latte before, but that sounds almost bizarre enough that it's good. And you know what? It's pretty darn good. In today's video, it's kind of a get ready with me, but kind of not. I'm doing a little flair, kind of a little spin on things, and I hope you enjoy it. I thought I would do something a little fun in reflecting on my year 2020. This year has been an interesting one. It has been a challenging one. It has been one of reflection and one of a lot of leisure. A lot of leisure. If I were a big drinker, I would probably say a lot of alcohol, but I don't drink a lot of alcohol. But I do drink a lot of coffee. That is good. In reflecting on this year, I thought it would be kind of fun to kind of go back to the beginning of the year. But before we do that, I want to say a hello. Hi, welcome. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Em, and you're watching Makeup Free. <laughs> Coming to the end of Emmis, womp womp, I'm sad, but I'm also excited for what 2021 will bring to my channel. Let's rewind a bit. Ooh, ooh, okay, that was today. <laughs> yeah, that was today. Let's rewind back a little bit further. Oh yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, let's do a little bit of rewinding to the very beginning of the year. While I'm talking, I'm also going to do a little get ready with me, New Year's Eve style baby. So at the beginning of the year, I hadn't been on YouTube for quite a few months. <laughs> Let's just say I hadn't uploaded onto this channel for almost a whole year, which is a long time for me. I started uploading videos in 2009 on a different channel. I created this channel in 2011 and I had uploaded, I won't say regularly, but quite consistently, well, who am I kidding, it wasn't that consistent. And I had uploaded almost every month for several years. <laughs> Don't make me math that. My mom passed away in 2018. And as a result, I went through a really deep depression. I had also gotten really sick with mono, which is a completely different <laughs> beast of its own. And that was not fun. It was a struggle. The last video I had posted was in April of 2019. Fast forward to this year. 11 months later, I uploaded a video on March 16th, 2020. That was my first video of the year and my first one in almost a whole year. It was a fun little video and it started out kind of this new series. Although I did do a similar video concept before, but I hadn't put it into one single video yet. However, I did end up doing my very first series of my color story challenge, which is a challenging video to get up because it often entails anywhere between three and seven makeup looks compiled into one single video which means a lot of filming, a lot of editing, mostly a lot of editing, and then uploading it in hopes that maybe someone out there would like it. So I did that with the Too Faced Gingerbread palette, thinking well, it was released again, and it looks like um, people might actually still like this palette. So I decided to do a little video on it, thinking, well, maybe other people are struggling to figure out looks to do with it. So, hey. Well, I ended up getting only 11 views on that video, so apparently a lot of people didn't care about that palette. So, 
we're, we're good. We're good at that point. But I decided, okay, I've missed being on YouTube too much. Let's just keep rolling. You know, the views aren't going to happen overnight because the algorithm doesn't like that. I've been away too long. So then I started uploading some other content. I had found some brands that I thought would be kind of fun to try out on camera. I noticed that first impression reviews and things like that were gaining popularity on YouTube. So I thought, let's try that and see. Well, I had a little bit more success. I got 23 views on this next video. And then I decided, okay, let's just talk a little bit more about makeup products that I've been liking for the last year. Because even though I haven't been on YouTube much, I still have used makeup. That did alright. It wasn't my best video by any means. So then I decided, you know what, let's just do what I want to do at this point. I don't care about analytics as much. I'm just going to do me. I moved into doing this How I'd Spend $100 at Sephora. That was a little performing. I have a total of six views on that video, so I was so excited about that, as you can imagine. <laughs> uh, that wasn't my best video. So I decided, you know what? Let's go back to my color story challenge video because I enjoy making those. I think it's kind of a fun, unique concept. I mean, maybe not so unique. It's like a three looks, one palette, five looks, one palette, seven looks, one palette. It's basically what that is. But I call it a color story challenge because my goal is to use every single color in that palette in the series. So I decided, okay, let's do a fun palette. Let's do this Revolution Pro palette. That one has gotten quite a few views for in comparison to some of these others with a whopping 267 views this year. My goal at the beginning of this year was to grow my makeup re-business into a photography and makeup studio. And I had rented out commercial space in downtown Seattle and I had paid several months worth and I had gone to Los Angeles back in January to go to IMAX to buy all the supplies I needed, most of them anyway, and I dropped a lot of money for my workshops in studio because my goal was to open a studio where anyone could come and get glamour shots, headshots, boudoir, or certain kinds of photography done, and I would do their makeup for them. And or if someone wanted to come and hang out and they wanted to do something fun with their girlfriends, with their family, with whoever, they could sign up for a workshop and we would have champagne, we would have awesome snacks, and I would teach them a certain look or technique. Yeah, well then, mm, COVID happened and um, it didn't get any better. The company I was leasing from went out of business. So there went my money, there went my space, and uh, yeah, so that, that went that went down the toilet, <laughs> at least for now. Maybe uh, one day I'll be able to reprise that business idea. Uh, for now, mm, I don't know. So I figured coming back onto YouTube wouldn't be a bad idea. In the meantime, I can still build my brand name, which is, you know, Makeup Brief. And then continue doing something that I love, which is makeup and teaching and just having fun on the internet because what millennial doesn't have fun on the internet anymore, right? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So then I moved ahead and I started uploading some other content that I just thought would be interesting. Things that, you know, would be beneficial to those who were germaphobes, you know, cleaning your brushes and keeping your brushes sanitary, things like that. How to clean up eyeshadow messes because that's a real thing. You know, just doing stuff that a makeup artist would be happy to talk about. But then I did the seven looks with the smoke sessions palette and I thought, Hopefully this one does well because this one is a pretty popular palette. We'll see. And I really enjoyed doing that video. That one was a lot more work because I did seven looks with that. And then by mid-April, I met someone online, of course, because who's meeting anyone in person these days, named Allie. And she had a YouTube channel called Makeup by Allie MUA. And she reached out and she was like, hey, so would you want to do a collab and... Um, 
by the way, I love your content, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I love yours too. Yes, let's do a collab. So we did a collab. So then I was really excited because now I had a community again here on YouTube. My little community was Allie and some of the friends I met from her, so Clara and Sam, and that was pretty exciting. I have a small little community here on YouTube, which I didn't have before, not since, oh, 2011 anyway. So that made coming back to YouTube so much more fulfilling for me and that just reinvigorated this passion for this community and wanting to be on this platform. So then I really went forward with uploading content and I went a little ham. I was attempting to upload videos three days a week or every other day just depending on what I felt. There was one week where I think I uploaded eight videos. I went a little ham as I said. But I did a lot of fun content. I explored my old videos. I had done a few more color story challenges. I then ventured into that whole I'm gonna declutter my makeup kind of video series because those are really popular and I find them to be very satisfying. I just throw on a random one that I find on YouTube and I'm like, I don't know who that person is but they have a lot of makeup in that shot and it's a 45 minute video. Let's watch it. Let's, let's just veg out and have some fun. So that's some of the content I enjoy watching this year. So then, I decided, you know what? I really need to go through my makeup. I have more makeup than the average person will ever use. And uh, it's getting a little hard to, to use. I couldn't find a black eyeliner I wanted to use. I didn't like how my makeup was stressing me out. So I decided to go through all my eyeliners. And that series was kind of fun to do. And then I did some more fantasy shopping videos, which I thought were kind of fun as well. Then I was like, okay, I'm going to jump on board with this whole duping thing. And I did a dupe video of the Urban Decay Ultraviolet palette. Remember that palette? I don't own it. It didn't really intrigue me. It didn't really interest me at all. So I was like, let's see what I've got that can dupe it. And boy, did I find some stuff. So that was a fun video. And then I did a giveaway this summer and that was a lot of fun. I had, it brought some new folks to my channel that may not have ever seen my stuff before. And you know, with giveaways, people come and check out your videos and my channel grew a little bit. And then I just kept pumping out videos. And then all of a sudden I, I saw this new collection that came out from Best of May and I'm like, I gotta order it. So I set an alarm on my phone so that I could come and be the, one of the first to order this. And that was a fun collection. And that ended up being my most viewed video this whole entire year with almost a thousand hits, which is exciting. For someone who had taken almost a year long break from YouTube, and the algorithm was saying, you know, we're not so sure about you right now. You don't have the most engagement. You're clearly someone who un uploads in inconsistently. That one was successful, which is interesting because it was a limited edition collection and it's still garnering views. So it must, I don't know if it's the tags, I don't know if it's the metadata, I don't know what it is, but it's kind of fun. So if you came here from the I Love Lucy collection video, give me a thumbs up. Or leave me a little heart emoji because I would love to know how many folks are here because of that video. So I thought, ooh, I'm onto something. People like these first impressions. They like seeing new products. They just, I don't know, there's something about these videos that people like. So I kind of focused on doing some of that content. And then I decided, you know what, I have a lot of makeup. Let's do some fun stuff as well. Let's go ahead and do some swatch videos and some things that just kind of enjoyable. Some kind of visual ASMR if, if that makes sense. So I did that and was enjoying that kind of content and saying okay let's just play with products in a video format and let's just have fun with it. So that's been kind of the focus for the latter half of the year. Then I did another collab with Sam and Clara. We did a Disney collaboration where I did a Tinkerbell look. Sam had done Jasmine, the evil Jasmine where she's wearing that red look in the original Aladdin. Clara did Shere Khan from The Jungle Book and everybody did an amazing job. I loved the eye looks that everybody came up with. It was just a fun collaboration. 
Then the Pumpkin Spice palette came out from Too Faced and I ordered that too. Generally, I'm not one to jump on Too Faced's, you know, bandwagon with some of these more limited edition products. But nonetheless, I decided to buy it and I decided to do the first impressions of it and I really liked the eye makeup that I came up with for that palette. It turned out really pretty. I do have a color story challenge coming up with that next week, by the way, if you're interested. And then we're going into fall, and one of the gals that I'm subscribed to was doing a live for her reaching 10,000 subscribers. And she had this little message in her in her description box saying, hey, if you want to be in this video, here's, um, here's my email, send an email, and we'll respond and get you set up. And I'm like, ooh, uh, hmm. Nah, who am I? Who am I? And I'm like, well, let's just not be afraid. Let's just do something a little wild, something that's a little scary, and uh, let's just let's just do it and see what happens. The likelihood of me getting on her live is very slim. Well, I was waiting for like hmm, ten minutes or so, and then all of a sudden, hey! And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm live on Britt Clark's YouTube channel with Karen Harris and. Uh, Angie Nyquist, 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 I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> uh, and quite a few others that I enjoy watching. So this is cool, and I gained some new subscribers from that because I was able to talk a little bit about my YouTube journey and the fact that I've been on this platform since 2010 doing videos, 2009, 2010. Yeah, it's been a long time. So that was kind of cool. I was just like, oh, wow. So then I got some new subscribers. If you're here because of Brit's live video and you're watching, hi! Thank you so much for being here. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. That really just, mm, that was such an amazing feeling to just see my subscriber count just inch up a little bit more. Obviously, I am not a big YouTuber because, um, hello. <laughs> But it was just kind of cool to see my me hit the next tier of hundreds. So I was in the 200s, now I'm in the 300s. And then I just kept going. I did another color story challenge with the Shroud Cosmetics Arcana palette. That one has done alright. I did some other videos where I was decluttering and kind of showing off my collection. Did a couple more review type videos. And then here we are at Emmis. So then we get to Emmis. I had some technical difficulties. I was supposed to start on December 13th and go until Christmas Day. But that didn't work out because my computer decided to poop out on me. I had to take it to a tech and shell out $500 to get it fixed, even though I have Apple Care. Don't get me started on that. But then I got my computer back later that week and I started getting my videos up starting with last minute literally last minute gift suggestions those were fun videos although they were kind of longer to edit than some of the other videos I did because so I gotta go through double check that everything is still available since I pre-filmed and I couldn't edit that footage for a while since it was stuck on my computer so I had to go back through and double check that everything was still available and then cut out what wasn't or um, wouldn't ship in time for Christmas. What was really fun was going shopping and trying to determine what items I would order or pick up for MS, my MS giveaways. And I wanted to buy things that I enjoyed or thought were things that other people would like. Or there are a few things that I had gotten um, earlier this year from IMATS that um, were meant for giveaway prizes for my workshops, which never happened. So I thought my some of my subscribers would really like some of these items, so let's do that. So here we are with Emmis and my grand giveaway for 2020. Well, there are some really amazing gifts that people get to win, have been able to win and have won and will still be able to win this year through MS, so I'm excited. So I wanna thank the 12 new subscribers I have from this month and the 703 views that I've gotten in December because that's exciting for me. 
and the fact that there are 45 and a half hours of my content watched this month that's exciting to me because 45 hours of me is kind of like whoa do people actually like what I have to say or am I really not that annoying to people because sometimes I just annoy myself all right and so here we are at the end of 2020 and the beginning of 2021 and I'm looking back at this year and I'm excited to see some growth in some areas where I might have been stuck before but I don't feel stuck in anymore by the way I think I might start wearing a green highlighter more often it's kind of fun for me this is a big deal I have had a growth of 98 new subscribers which is huge for me because as of last year I was sitting at about 260 some odd people and now I'm at 365 with one new subscriber as of today so yay thank you for being here and for subscribing and showing support for my channel I truly appreciate it I can't even man I don't even know if I know 300 people <laughs> uh, but it's it's truly an amazing feeling because I just kind of got in a rut last year and didn't think that you know I wanted to come back and a year later here I am with a hundred almost a hundred more people watching my videos and I am at 7,100 new views this year and over 460 hours of my content was watched this year which blows my mind because how is it that I'm liked enough that 400 hours of watching me is possible? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure some of those views are my own. I mean, maybe. So thank you so much for being here. I say this a lot, but I truly mean it. I enjoy being here. I enjoy making content. I enjoy engaging with people from all around the world, from Bangladesh to the UK to Germany to Mexico, to wherever, across the US. It's just, it's exciting to me. I didn't even have all of 2020 to focus on this channel. There were three months where I didn't even upload. So I can only imagine how much more potential 2021 has. And I'm hopeful that it will be a better year than 2020. I mean, 2020 sets that bar pretty low. So I don't think it'll be much harder, but then again, on wood because we never know what's going to happen. So here's the look that I did. I wanted to show you up close. It's kind of funky. It's not something I would do every day, but um, I would wear this out. The liner, I'm not a big fan of. My brows look like poo, but you know what? I don't care. I feel a fancy for the new year. I'm ready. Got my sparkly water bottle and I'm ready to pate in my PJs on the couch with a bottle of cider. <laughs> I'm gonna go wash my face and then the reenactment of the video clip from before on the couch is actually gonna happen tonight. I have pizza, I have salad because I gotta be some kind of healthy. I have a couple boxes of chocolate. I've got cider, I've got coffee, did I say that already? I don't remember, but hey, whatever. Now that we're at the end of Emmis, and we're at a sad point where we're going to part ways for a few more days. I will be back on Monday, January 4th with a brand new video for you. But until then, I am in need of a little bit of a YouTube break. I've been creating content for the last two weeks. And as much as I love it, it's a lot of work. So I'm going to take a couple of days and just rest and have um, my feet up. And maybe do some things around my office, around my house. I don't know. We'll see how that goes, how I feel. All right, my friends, we're at the end and we're at the final giveaway for a miss and the final giveaway for 2020. Yay! So the first thing you're going to get is this makeup eraser. It is hands down my most favorite thing to remove my makeup with. You don't necessarily need wet wipes or cleanser or anything to take your makeup off. You just run this under hot water and rub it against your face. It takes off most everything. The only thing it doesn't take off is waterproof stuff you gotta use a cleanser for that but other than that it takes everything off I won't say it's like a hundred percent stain proof because it's just impossible but it comes clean and I've had mine for 
I've had mine for several years and it's still in great condition. So you'll win a makeup eraser. And then going back to the random grab bag, remember this? If not, what I want you to do, because it's the grand finale. So in the comments below, what I want you to do is pick seven numbers ranging from 1 through 25. And how this will work is I will do a randomization and whatever numbers you pick are going to be the prize associated with that number. And then I'll get that shipped out. So with this one, you'll have until Monday, January 4th at 11.59 Pacific Standard Time. I decided to make this giveaway a little bit longer just in case any of you are kind of late to watching this. I figure it would give you a couple more days to enter and to yeah, to be able to participate. So in order to win, just leave that comment below and be subscribed to this channel. Also share this video and give me a like because that helps the YouTube algorithm to share my video with the world. And my goal is to hopefully grow this channel a little bit more in 2021. Alrighty guys, thank you again so much for being here. From the bottom of my heart, I truly, truly appreciate you. And um, happy new year. Good riddance 2020 and hello 2021. Let's hope and pray and send out good wishes and good vibes for a better year. Stay healthy, stay happy, stay electric. I say that all the time. Keep that electric energy going. And anyway, so much love to you guys. Take care. Bye.